Hello everyone, it's Liz Cook here from EPCS. I just wanted to make a short video um, aimed at Year 10 parents of the school to give you some background to the school's plans for introducing the return um, to school lessons so you can make a decision about what would be best for you and your child to do. First of all, why has Year 10 been selected? Well, concerns have been raised that Year 10 students will not be adequately prepared for their set of examinations in Year 11. This is a concern, but the disadvantage at the moment is equal across the country as no Year 10 students are attending school in any setting. However, each family's circumstances are different and this is no different within our school itself. A lot of students are on top of their work and I'm pleased to see that so many students have been completing the Be Ready tasks set for them in maths, English and science. Work set outside these subjects has been less successful and the teachers will need to work with students to catch up once we return to some normality. Some students have not accessed the platform at all and as such are disadvantaged. These are the students the government is most concerned about falling behind and these students will be prioritised in any return to school arrangements. Some students will naturally be more motivated to learn with access to their teacher and will benefit from attending class. So we want to be able to accommodate these students too. So if your child is happy and on top of their learning and you would prefer them to remain at home, then this is the right decision for you and your child. As expectations regarding social distancing are relaxed, and the school can offer option subjects, you may then wish to participate. If your child falls into the other categories, then we will be able to offer small group learning, socially distanced, using the school's bigger spaces, for example, the theatre and sports hall. We will need your child to cooperate with staff, and that will mean maintaining distance, even at a two metre roll call, sit in the seat they've been allocated, wash hands or sanitise them when requested, eat a packed lunch away from others and only use their own equipment, not share or touch others' um, belongings. They will need to wear their school summer uniform with the exception of blazers and participate in the end of the day in making sure that their chair and table has been wiped down. Initially, we will offer lessons in core subjects and your child will be allocated to one venue, which we will maintain. The work set will be the same as the Be Ready curriculum, so students are treated equally. We will open up history and geography lessons if the initial run through works well. Teachers like you are also anxious about how all of this will work. And therefore, we are currently planning details and adjusting spaces, ready to check our systems work and everyone can be accommodated safely. I am also conscious government guidance is changing and three sets of new guidance has been issued to schools this week alone. The school will carry out a risk assessment prior to any decision to open. So at this point, based on what I have said, please could I ask Year 10 parents to decide if they wish their child to participate in face-to-face -face learning or continue with our current distance learning arrangements. Clearly, if your child is not doing anything, the head of year will be in touch as a follow-up. As I said at the start, this is about trying to ensure every child in Year 10 can keep up to date, but I realise many families have significant challenges to overcome. Some of you may have um, elderly relatives living with you, some of you may have underlying health conditions and difficulties in the provision of public transport. And I am well aware that this may be more of a concern than attending school at this time. So thank you for listening. Please complete the Google survey which has been sent out to you and stay safe and well.